What's up guys? Welcome back to Homes on Wheels. Today we are in Troy, Alabama at Smith Manufactured Housing. We're going to be filming this beautiful home that you see here called the Kimmel. Without any further ado though, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside because I know that's what has everybody excited. I have a beautiful exterior steel door here that does look like wood. It does have a window in the top to allow the natural lighting. And let's go ahead in. So they still are working on setting this one up. As a matter of fact, I was here just two weeks ago and this home was not here. So this home has a beautiful open floor plan along with finished sheetrock and vinyl flooring that looks a lot like hardwood. If you look up at the ceiling, you can see that it's textured, but also the heating and air conditioning is in the ceiling. So your living room over here to the left does have two big, beautiful windows to allow the natural light along with your exterior door. Your master bedroom is going to be through the door over here. Laundry's there. Here's your kitchen and your dining room. Let's take a little bit closer look at this end of the house. I actually really like that chandelier that they have in here. You can see that it does have the Ecobee thermostat over here on the wall, which would connect to your smartphone where you can control the temperature while sitting down without having to get up and adjust it, which is really nice. Two big windows here in the dining area as well. And the light fixture that was in the dining room kind of matches these that are directly over top of the bar that is catty corner in the kitchen, which is a bit different than a lot of the homes that we tour. Look at the amount of can lights in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight can lights just in the kitchen. It does have nice surrounding cabinets all around the refrigerator, which are very deep. Man, I don't know what all you could put in there. I guess that would be a good pantry section. You have a marble style countertop along with a subway, subway tile backsplash. These appliances are frigid air. Beautiful appliances. And no, they're not blue. That's just plastic for protection. You can see the drawers. I still have them rubber banded up from it being delivered. Let's turn around and take a little closer look at the island. You can see you do have a single drawer over there. Three cabinet doors along the bottom. The sink is a single basin. It does pull down so it passes the test for Heath. I like that a lot actually. Actually, there we go. If you take a look, right here is your dishwasher right next to your sink, and it is across from your stove. The bar that you see is not real wood, but it looks really nice. The wood beneath it down there at the bottom, though, is. So it looks like you could put three or four bar stools there to me. Right here to the left is going to be your laundry room. Or you even have a spot right here you could actually make a pantry or put a deep freeze. I think I personally would probably put a deep freezer right here with some shelving above it for maybe some canned goods. This is going to be your heat and air returns. Hot water here. Here is your electrical panel and your rear exterior door. Plenty enough room for your washer and dryer. There again, there is can lighting in here as well. and that vinyl style flooring continues through the home. This is a louver door that closes this section of the home off though. So if you say you've got a set of overalls or some kind of crazy loud washer or dryer, you don't have to hear that noise throughout the rest of the home. Let's go ahead and go look at the guest bedrooms over here before we look at the master. The first one you come to on the right is a very nice size bedroom. I'm gonna go over here to the corner. You can see you got two big windows that are a little bit offset to the side to allow for better furniture placement. You have a single light in here and there again, all of these rooms do have a smoke detector that you see over there. Nice big walk-in closet in this guest bedroom too. It is a wire rack. However, remember those wire racks can be replaced very easily with the help of Amazon. These doors will be obviously assembled to the door frames that you see here once this home is set up fully. But as of right now, they're still working on it. 
Here is the second guest bedroom. This is a three bedroom home. This one's a little bit smaller than the other with a single window over here. And this room has a nice big walk-in closet as well. Let's go ahead and take a walk over here to the closet and take a look at how big it is. Man, that's a big closet, guys. Another really big, deep closet, plenty of room. I almost skipped right past this guest bathroom. Got a nice big single vanity here. There again, the mirror's not hung. You have a spot right here for medicines or whatever you wanna put above your toilet. You do have a nice single basin shower tub combo here and a single window above it. Let's go ahead and head towards that master bedroom now. A good size bedroom guys there again this room has double windows multiple vents in the ceiling that you can see up there to keep it well ventilated looks like you're probably set up for a king size bed that could go against the wall over there without a problem and then right here you have the master closet and this is a big closet guys turn all the way around it's so big, as a matter of fact, they had to put a vent in the ceiling to keep it ventilated. Let's go take a look at the master bed, uh, bathroom, rather. We're in the bedroom. I don't know why I wanted to say that. So here is the master bath. And this bath has a nice, big, leisurely tub right here with the arm placement so your arms could be beneath the water. There is a window right above it to let in natural light. This home doesn't have a potty closet. It's right here to the side though. You have a double vanity. The mirrors are not hung yet. And behind us, you have a large tiled shower. You can see it's a single basin down there. And right up there is the big shower head that everybody likes to have. Let's go in here and talk about price real quick. The price on this home is pretty astonishing to me for everything that you get. There again, we are at Smith Manufactured Housing in Troy, Alabama. All of their contact info is going to be below. This is a 28 by 62. There again, it's named the Kimmel. A little over 1,500 square feet. 140000 plus tax, guys. That is a very tough price to beat. If y'all enjoyed this video, though, be sure to follow us right up here to our next home tour.